So if you've ever heard the name The Butcher of Plainfield, then you know of Ed Gein, or the inspiration for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. And Ed Gein was a man who had a fascination with digging up corpses and turning body parts into things such as furniture, uh, turning skulls into bowls, turning chairs, making chairs out of human flesh, making a bell out of women's nipples, which yes, that actually happened, um, having heads in bags, making masks out of human faces, a pair of women's stockings out of a pair of legs, you name it, the list goes on. And I had a fascination with digging up corpses of freshly dead uh, bodies. And was convicted of killing one woman in particular, the one victim, and I think he was suspected of killing another. I'm not can't remember if that's confirmed or not, but anyway. Um, the nature of this video, I wasn't sure. Um, I didn't really have much belief in that uh, a particular object could be uh, possessed, whether it could have energy attached to it or anything of that nature. I didn't have my reservations on that, uh, but I decided to give it a try. Some of you may have seen in the past video of this one uh, that I had a sample of Ed Gein's grave from his unmarked grave from darkmemorabilia.com. And if you want some authenticity, you can go check out darkmemorabilia.com. And there's the pictures as well of where the soil came from. And so that's where it came from, from Plainfield. As far as I know, the house uh, where all this happened is not there anymore. It's just land now. And now all that's left is just the Umar grave and the soil for when he died back in eight, back in 1984. So, like I said, I have my reservations on this, but I tried out a session and I was pretty surprised, pretty stunned. I'm not saying this is Ed Yeen. I have no proof or anything that's Ed Gein, if you read the disclaimer at the beginning. I, I've got no proof of that, but some things came through which I was very shocked about, which I was very surprised about, and it's definitely, I have to probably say, one of my favorite sessions of all time that I've ever done. So, that's the soil, which is in there. Did a session on there. A few things came through relating to uh, his mother, which is pretty significant. This is when was a very straight, uh, I think she was a straight alcoholic, um, God-fearing woman, so she had a lot of influence over her sons, and also Ed Gein's brother died in, Ed, Gein, Ed Gein's brother died, I believe in a fire, but it's possible that he may have killed his brother, but that was never confirmed, so that remains unexplained, but I tried the session out, um, which I'll show to you in just a sec, and just let me know what you think down in the description. Again, not saying in the comments, sorry, not saying this is Ed Gein, got no proof it's Ed Gein, but I am a bit shocked at this. And another one of wondering what was gonna happen if I, yeah, what was gonna happen if I lift the lid off? Ed, how do you feel that I'm holding it? Take the lid off. Now for me, it said, take the lid off, or it could have said, taking that lid off, something like that. And so, if you have any comments, please leave them down in the comment section, and enjoy the session, and tell me what you think of this. Does energy, does energy attach to certain objects? Then let me know, and I'll see you next time. Okay, hello? Ed, Ed Gein, you here? Ed Gein, yeah? This soil that I've got here, does it contain any energy of Ed Gein? Does this soil contain any energy of Ed Gein? Ed? Is Ed Gein's energy attached to this soil? Right. I've been hearing strange noises in my house ever since it's been here. Is that because of the soil? Ed? 
Halt! Mother, is this soil dangerous at all to the living? He recognizes what? He recognizes that? Whoa. Ed, can I pick this up? Ed, how do you feel that I'm holding it? Take the lid off? Why should I take the lid off? Why do you want me to take the lid off, Ed? Ed Gein, from, Plain, from Plainfield, you uh, died in 1980. You died in 1980. You're here? Is Ed Gein here? Ed Gein, are you here? Was? Is that game as I game left left the room? Do you want to say anything to the families? Or this time later? Talks in. Welcome. Welcome to what? Mud? We're talking about the, the jar? What happens if I take the lid off? Alright, the... It's open. Do you want me to lift it off? What happens if I lift it off? Happen. Are you laughing? Really? Is someone laughing at me? Okay, I'm hearing noises out just in the hallway. Are you in the hallway? Who's in the hallway? Okay, I've switched over to AM. Many people consider you a monster, Ed. Not going. You're going? Are you gonna leave? Are you gonna leave now? Gone. Gone. How'd you feel knowing that you're famous in a very horrible way? How does it feel knowing you're famous? <coughs> yeah, you. Sound like you sound like a stutter just then. Yeah, you. How do you feel knowing that you're famous for what you did? How do you feel knowing that you... Ed, are you aware it was wrong what you did? <laughs> you certainly do. Okay. Ed, I'm going to shut off soon. Is there anything that maybe Ed's spirit or maybe a message? Maybe... Don't seem fun. Hell seems fine. Okay. Hell seems fine.